bounced immediately back into an offensive position. And look how lightning fast that switch was a moment ago. Look at that right leg kick. Very nice. Felder very confident if this fight does go to the ground. He trains his grappling and his jiu-jitsu with Daniel Gracie. Scar tissue there already. Sometimes, oh, what a knee! Stevie Ray goes down. He's hurt. Paul Felder's is pouring on the pressure. Stevie Ray struggling to recover here. And Stevie Ray has never been knocked out. That was a very solid shot for Paul Felder. Certainly changed the landscape of this first round with 90 seconds to go. Big powerful elbow. I think I can see some swelling on Stevie Ray's face as well. Yeah, on the cheekbone. Big elbows again. Ray with that underhook. Trying to get back to his feet, but he's going to be more aware of his strikes. Nice elbows. elbows. Wow. That's it. Wow. The Irish Dragon. What a finish from Paul Felder. Brilliant victory. He hears the boos. He shows respect. But what a knockout wow. for Felder. In Ricci's first fight. He was a bit of a slow starter against Jeremy Kennedy as well. Let's see if he starts to get the timing of Felder here at the end of the round. Getting a little bit of confidence in round two. But an excellent round so far for Paul Felder. Ooh, nice jab there from Ricci. It looks like he hurt something. Something's hurt. And down goes Ricci who's covering up and that's it. Not sure what did the damage, but the damage was done decisively by the Irish Dragon. Right here, especially after all that defense and grappling in the first round. Now Felder's got him turned around. Now I'd like to see Felder let go, but when you look at the end of that first round, Felder was starting to beat up Oliveira on the ground, and he might feel that Oliveira is wilting a little bit. Again, a lot of energy expended in that first round. Oh, you heard him there. You heard him there. Elbow lands for Felder. Felder trying to pound Oliveira out of there. Oliveira content to try to grapple with him at any cost. Oliveira, even when he's on the bottom. Felder gets off and a big shot by Felder. And now those patented Felder elbows raining down. You're right though, Oliveira deceptively strong. Deceptively strong with his grappling. And it, he's very technical as well. So he's always in a good position to use leverage. Those long arms help a lot. Just over a minute here, round two. Felder inside the closed guard of Charles Oliveira. Oh, big elbow by Felder. Oh! oh huge elbow. This might be it. No, 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 no. Paul Felder gets Charles Oliveira out of there. So maybe I question the strategy at times. It works for the Irish Dragon tonight. Has this style. There's a very hard leg kick by Felder. Felder has this aggressive style. This is an important fight for both these men, too. Swing and a miss. It certainly is. Very important fight. And a very close fight. Yep. Although damage-wise, I think Crookshank has landed the bigger shots. Nice elbow. Comes from almost a side with it. Crookshank drops down for the single. Good defense by Felder. Excellent defense. Felder perhaps could be looking for a Darce choke here. He in a situation here where he's wondering how the judges have this. With a minute and 30 to go, I mean, this is a real pivotal fight for both of these guys' careers. Maybe even more so for Crookshank, considering lost the last two by submission. Yes. Well, actually, both guys lost their last two, so. Both decisions for Felder, submission for Crookshank. Can he lock it in here? He's going under the chin here. Can he get it? Oh, he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Looking Felder has it. He can it's all over. He got Paul it. Paul Felder by submission. Wow. Wow. Beautiful. The first submission win of his professional career. Wow.